Welcome to another part of the core trust seal requirements video series. In this series, we talk you through the new core trust seal requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applicants, extended guidance, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number nine. My name is Raina Jenkins. I am the Data Stewardship Manager at Ocean Networks Canada and have been serving on the Cortro Seal Board for the last few years. Requirement number nine is about the preservation plan, which is a very essential part of becoming a certified Cortro Seal repository. This means that the repository assumes responsibility for long-term preservation and manages this function in a planned and documented way. The repository depositors and the designated community need to understand the level of responsibility that is undertaken for the long-term preservation of data and metadata. Procedures must be documented and their completion assured. The execution and details of these plans relate to other requirements that may be cross-referenced and Allow this requirement to ensure that preservation has a thoughtful documented plan to ensure accountability and longevity. There is a variety of evidence that can be found within the preservation plan, which should be linked and provided alongside the response statement. This documented approach to preservation should include whether this involves for format migration, emulation, etc. Ensuring that bit level integrity is vital, but not sufficient for preservation. There is much more involved. For example, the file formats and metadata schemas for long-term preservations need to be considered. Um, perhaps they're migrating over time with new versions. How, how is the level of responsibility for the preservation of each item defined? Are there plans related to future migrations or similar measures to address the threat of obsolescence? Describe the actions relevant to preservation in, in that documentation, including things like custody transfer, submission information criteria, and preservation information metadata. Describe what sort of measures are being taken to, to ensure all actions are taken. Are there any minimum stated retention or preservation periods for particular digital objects? How often are those digital objects reappraised? And what could be the possible outcomes of that reappraisal process? Does the repository have an approach to deleting or removing any data or metadata from its collections and holdings? And what kind of impact does that have on the way that the persistent identifiers are being managed? A couple of example statements from applications are presented here to further illustrate response expectations. Please know that these are merely examples of aspects of the requirement and by no means complete response statements. So one type of response that would not be adequate might be that once a data set is published, preservation is fully achieved by bit level verifications on the metadata and data contents. Well, that's great that the data or metadata does not change over time, but that doesn't ensure that it's interpretable and understandable for the long term. So better response statements might be something like what follows. While submitted data is stored in its original form, a conversion to standardized non-proprietary format is always ensured for interoperable distribution and preservation. The list of formats is available on our website and provides some sort of link. Another statement might be the preservation plan. The link here accounts for metadata updates, data format evolution, and technology migration. Metadata procedures are in place to handle evolving community standards and information availability, such as schema updates, such as with the data site schema, controlled vocabulary, perhaps there's new terms, or related resources, such as publications that could be linked to the data set after they're available. Another statement might cover some things like the rare occasion that access to a data set must be removed, the identifiers are still able to be resolved with basic descriptive metadata, but the rationale is available for why that data set was removed. One example might be that there were some sort of sensitive data issues or there, there was a duplication of that data set.
In terms of changes, uh, the actual main statement is, is exactly the same. However, in the guidance, it now emphasizes that bit level integrity is vital, but not sufficient for preservation. There is also increased guidance to curatorial responsibilities that should be considered for long-term preservation, such as support for evolving data formats and metadata schemas, reappraisal, and more. This concludes the instruction on requirement number nine of the new Cortris seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the Cortris seal YouTube, YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025 on the Cortris seal website. Thank you.